Gun Mellow Gray 1950 Chevrolet pickup truck slowly roams through the streets of Smoky Hollow. A long, tall, razor-thin, dark-haired man sits behind the wheel with his little scrappy dog sitting shotgun. Michael Schreiber is home. Home is a place where he can not only build motorcycles, but assemble something else, something he'd never seen before except in his mind's eye. A pirate ship of a building. A skull and bones kingdom where he can make his own rules. In the summer of 2007, Schreiber had reached his make it or break it point in life. He was 36 years old and been building cars and bikes since before he was old enough to drive. He'd spent 10 years working as a mechanic for Harley Davidson shops, but had constantly run afoul of his bosses. And just found myself really frustrated, always thinking that I had a better way, you know, a different way to do something. And um, in most cases, it sort of would get me in trouble more than anything else because I just was so assertive with all of my, all of my uh, thoughts. And so I figured one day, kind of drop everything. Um, do my own thing and either I was right, like I did have a better way to do it, or I'd find out quick enough that I was wrong and I'd you know, tuck my tail between my legs and shut my mouth and go back to work for, for the man for the rest of my life. Schreiber has a partner in crime. His girlfriend Robin Holden is an artist and a classic car enthusiast. Together they felt the steerings of a different kind, a vision for how they could build a life. After moving in and out of a couple different South Bay locations, they finally found a home, a 3,000 square foot warehouse in the Smoky Hollow section of El Segundo. What South Bay Customs is now defies easy description. It's a motorcycle shop, an art gallery, music venue, an event place. But it's also something more. SBC is an alternative universe, the distillation and perhaps evolution of some of the South Bay's and particularly El Segundo's proudest traditions precision mechanics and a defiant but pronounced unbothered inclination to go one's own damn way. Rock and roll, not as a music genre, but as a way of life. The building at 115 Penn Street calls little attention to itself. It's a tall, single-story brick house adorned with a two slanted metal awnings and a sign that says South Bay Customs in large ornament lettering. The experience of walking inside for the first time is something nearly every visitor remembers long after. The long hallway with the thick art ranging from vintage horror movie posters to a collection of old magazines to a bright, red, old popcorn machine. And then you step inside to the shop itself, which feels like stepping back into some century that could have existed a hundred years ago, but never did. Hundreds of photos, posters, motorcycle parts, framing artworks. A stage at the front of the room with a backlit of amplifiers, and a drum kit, and dozens of professional grade show lights above. The building further opens up into another, larger room with a hoist and a lot of other mechanical gear and a rugged looking but sleek stripped down motorcycle on display in the back of the room dubbed Death or Glory. The shop has flourished and has done so in ways even Schreiber did not envision. His primary business in the beginning was, of course, building motorcycles. Early on he started hosting music shows, both because his lifelong passion for music and in the hopes that people visiting for the show might be a motorcycle customer. Schreiber, once he delved into putting on the shows, did extensive research in obtaining state-of-the-art everything. The lighting, sound systems are as good as they get, if not better than any full-time music venue in Southern California. The main feeling you come away with is warmth, because every guest somehow is invited to be complicit with the secret world of Schreiber and Holden have constructed. It really is just my girlfriend and I taking the stuff that we love and we're interested in, and we're just kind of obsessive builders and creators, so we just took everything that we love and put it under this roof and that's where where we ended up motors art and music